Here we have the 56th Street Railroad crossing in Indianapolis, Indiana, which has a Railroad Supply Co. bell on it, actually. An extremely rare Railroad Supply Co. bell. This crossing is now out of service and it's probably going to get ripped up soon. But anyways, that's looking north towards Fishers and Noblesville. That's looking south into Indianapolis. And here we have these two leaning signals and that signal over there. First signal is a no right turn signal, which literally isn't even facing the right way anymore by this point. But it has the US and S 12 by 20 inch no right turn lens light here with the cracked lens, and then a US and S 8 inch light with the orange lens, which is also cracked. And a US and S splice box and a clamp style base and a pinnacle. And then here we have this signal which is leaning severely, which is rather unfortunate because it has an extremely rare bell on it. But anyways, I actually do not plan on going under this signal because it could fall pretty much any second. But anyways, it has a Modern Industries base. There's a small little relay case or something right there. It has three pairs of uh, Safe Tran 12 by 24 inch lights, which are incandescent. Here's a look at the bad tracks as well. See, yeah, here's your safe tran lights. And then there is the beauty of this crossing as well as the USNS stuff right there. It is a Railroad Supply Co. mechanical bell, which is extremely rare. They sound kind of like teardrop bells, but they are not teardrop bells at all. Also, here's a look at these really damaged lights. And over there is the other signal. There's also a spur right there. Long abandoned. This remains of there. So this signal is uh, really classic as well. Let me get over to it. All right, it has, well, I don't even know what those lights are, hold on, I'll try and cross over, here's a look at the signal over there, yeah, I'm not going to cross, because there's a hill on this side, and then there's cars coming constantly, well, those are, uh, some sort of, Right, I'm gonna go. Yeah, okay, I'm over here now. Here we have a Transport Products clamp style base. There's TPC. Here we have a USNS splice box. Here is the emergency information. The lights are. Transport products, 8 inch lights actually. That one has a bent visor. And then here's the transport products as you can see. They're incandescent. There's three pairs of them. It's kind of sad the shape of this crossing. This is probably one of the nicest crossings on this line. And then here's the relay case. Not only the State, uh, the condition, but the state of the crossings. It's gonna be ripped up soon. Here's the relay case. There are some videos of this crossing in action, so if you want to see this, then you can. Here's one of those relay cases again. I don't know what the brand is. There's a gate light. Don't know if this has power by this point. There's another look at that abandoned spur. I don't know why cars seem to go super fast through here, but they do. Those signals are literally leaning towards each other. 
I think one more strong windstorm is gonna do it for this, unfortunately. However, it has been like this for quite a while, but I think it was a little less bent last time I was here. I'm never getting across, honestly. I'm taking it. All right, so here we have the rather rare and classic 56th Street Railroad crossing in Indianapolis, Indiana, over and out.